So we did a study, well, not we, <laughs> Catalyst and Daniel Goldman did a study, and both of them found that employers also want those same things. So employers, when they're looking for employees to hire, they're listening for, or they're looking for employees who have good listening skills, good oral communication. They have an ability to be adaptable and resilient. They also have the ability to manage themselves with confidence and have that personal motivation. And then when it comes to group processing skills, they're really good at teamwork and conflict management. And that's what employers want across the board, which are all qualities of EQ. So when it comes to um, the academic world in which I live, um, we always are looking for academic credibility. And most, what we found, um, Miller found that most employees prefer a relational leader. So someone that they can relate to and that makes them feel like they're part of something bigger. Sukas and Chia found that generally those relational leaders create a sense of community with their coworkers. So they're not simply just people coming to work and sitting in a cubicle, but they make them feel as if they're coming to a community and that community is better because they're a part of it. And then we also found that women typically lead in a more relational way than men do. So all of this points to the benefits of women in leadership and the benefits of having relational leaders. So really what is emotional intelligence? Um, Daniel Goleman is considered the founder of EQ and he came out with a book in 1995 talking about what EQ is, but basically it is, um, it's a yardstick for career success that doesn't look at things like climbing the career ladder. It doesn't look at things